spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and create a pivot table. Um, one way that you can start with a pivot table, you know that what, what data you need. So let's come to the bottom right hand corner and select this bottom row and click and drag up to the top. I find that to be the easiest way to do it. Uh, and highlight all of the data that you want actually in your pivot table. Then let's come up to the insert tab, click on pivot table, and you see that it automatically, since we had it highlighted ahead of time, it goes ahead and in the table range it actually puts our uh, selection into the table range. Now if you didn't have that done ahead of time you can click on this selection tool here and go to the bottom and do exactly what we just did. You want to click and drag from the bottom right hand corner to the top left select all of the data press the button again and then it brings it uh, back and you see it's got the same thing written in. We do want to put this in a new worksheet because that makes it a little bit easier to work with. So you click on OK and then you notice that you've got a new sheet and you have the skeleton framework of a pivot table. You have row fields, column fields, and data fields. Now the row fields is what you're going to use to find your category, your specific category that you're looking for. Uh, so for us, since we're looking at a certain city, certain age group, and let's see, uh, certain gender, that's the three pieces of information that we want in our rows. Uh, in the column, what we're looking at is the type of music that those people listen to. So we're looking at, again, the city, the gender, and the age group by the type of music. Now, how do we measure the type of music? <clears throat> by the percentages. If you look over here on the right hand side you've got your field list and this are the five columns that we had in our table on the previous sheet. So what we're going to do, let's take uh, age to start with. We're going to click and drag age over to the row area. Let's go back and get gender. Let's click and drag gender over to the row area also and do the same thing with city. So now we have the city, the gender, and the category of age all in the row area. Now let's put music in the column area, the column group there, and then finally let's put percentage in as the data items. So what we've done is we've created a pivot table that's going to make it easier for us to view the data. Now if you've got, again, hundreds of columns and hundreds of rows, uh, this pivot table would make it much easier to look at. You're going to manipulate the table much the same way that you did before. We're going to, let's say just as an example, select Atlanta, uh, well let's do Seattle and Boston for the females. And let's just leave it in all age groups. So what we see then is that we've got um, that 5% of the females Let's see, I guess the ML would be, uh, you've got young adult, teenagers, I guess that's middle age. 5% uh, of the middle age listen to country and western. 20% of the female middle age in Boston listens to easy listening. 30% listens to other, and 45% listens to top 40 for a grand total of 100%. So everything adds up. And that looks nice and neat until you get down to the female total here and all of a sudden there's a 300 percent. How can something add up to 300 percent? That's because our table is summing and giving us the sum of all of our percentages and that's not what we need to look at. So we're going to right click on it, just uh, click in the box, right click in value field settings and see it's summarized the value field by, right now it's on sum, you want to change that to average. So we're going to click on average and it's going to come back to our table. All of the data inside the, the pivot table underneath the music types is the same. What changes is the grand total over here on the right. Now why is it all adding up to 25%? Why is the average of everything 25%? Because you have four columns and all of these columns add up to 100, or they're supposed to. 
and uh, in our case they do and if you take a hundred and divide it by four what are you going to get as your average 25 percent um, I'll show you how to do this because there's times when you're computing different types of data when you need an average more than a sum and so you would need to know how to change your pivot table to measure the average of percent now we can uh, let's put all of the data back select all select all I don't think we took any off of the age. No, they're all still there. Now, when we, we put everything in, you notice that some of our averages come out to have large decimal numbers. So let's, let's correct that problem and make this table a lot cleaner to look at. Highlight all of the columns in your uh, pivot table, and then right-click on anywhere inside the, the highlighted area. Click on Format Cells, go to Number, and leave it on decimal places as two. You want two decimal places. You click on OK and you notice that all of the numbers now are in a consistent format. That makes it much nicer to look at. I also like to center everything uh, unless you're doing dollar amounts or something like that. But if everything's pretty close to the same, to me it just looks better if it's centered. Uh, so that's what I like to do, but you can format it however you like. Uh, adjust your column widths so that everything's easy to see and just make your uh, your table as pleasant to the eyes as you can now what you have to do for your exercise is, is sort out the data according to uh, the method that that I've given you in the workbook and that I believe is that maybe the Atlanta and Dallas markets the young adult males but read the workbook and make sure that you select the right uh, categories I'm just going to select anything here just to show you what you're supposed to do. Let's say that this is what you were supposed to have. It's not, so don't do this, but just if, in case, or just as an example, this was your answer. What I want you to do here is take a, a screenshot of your pivot table. Take a screenshot of your pivot table, um, and then you know go through the whole process of saving it as a JPEG, and then insert that into a Word document. And in the Word document, I want you to add your name to the Word document and a sentence that describes which category or which market is best served for the group of people that I've given you. So you're going to look at it here, analyze the data, then you're going to do the screenshot, insert the screenshot in a Word document, and then type a paragraph that says, based on this data, based on my pivot table, I think that the best market the best type of music to advertise a NASCAR race on is this type of music because for the young adult males in these cities or whatever the grouping is just make sure you read the workbook the young adult males in these cities listen to this type of music more so that's what you've got to do and this gives you an example of how you can take a large spreadsheet manipulate it with a pivot table and then come out with some real practical answers for some marketing manager who's trying to make decisions on where to run advertising. As always, if you have any questions, drop by and see the graduate assistants or come by and visit with your professor.